goes from wider to higher bottom bar. Um, so what we came up with was like having this, because we were talking about um, rec centers, you know, how to transform them to like tech centers. So we was wondering if we could have like programs that, you know, teach young people like us, not just young people, but, like any person of any age, you know, something, a skill, because um, employers of these days are not looking for like, you know how in school we just learn these things, right? They're looking for more of like a talent these days, not really what you are certified in. So we, was, we, we came up with these ideas having like programs that would teach people how to do a certain things. That's what employers are looking for these days. And why? Because we don't have, a, we really don't have a, a job problem these days. It's more of an education problem. So that's some of the ideas we came up with, as you will see in our slide. So, <laughs> <laughs> and our plan. So um, we outlined um, a plan of sort of, uh, as Joe was saying, he sort of has these, these time slots at his rec and tech centers where uh, during the day there's this open from 10 to 3 and then this evening slot of like 6 to 9. And so not only would it be an after school, after school program set there, they've already got it in place, but something we can add in addition to that would be sort of community training, skill training for the workplace. Um, and so we have a plan, of, this is our vision, so this is sort of our long-term idea um, for the brief period of time that we were able to come up with something today. Um, so to build human and technology platform for connecting learners, teachers, and um, employers. And so sort of this three-pronged approach um, where we would then create a certification-type tracks um, that would be badged and then um, employers can search for, okay, I need this certain skill set, or I, need, I know this badge qualifies that certain skill set, so I can search then these people who have gone through this training program. And then identify companies and educators and community groups to facilitate, help facilitate our goals. So looking at the next six months, so our, our, our ROI, our part two, <laughs> um, we're going to be leveraging the Digital Harbor Foundation, the um, Practic Tech Center that belongs to them, so in Federal, and then Liberty Elementary, Joe Manco's uh, Forest Park space. Um, we're using them for their space and for the students that they that come along with that space. And then we're going to identify the first training module. So we have some ideas of like what we want to attack first, but we're going to take some time and do a little bit of background research. Um, and come together at, I guess, Groundwork is the name of the next event. Um, and so we're gonna come together then with the research that we've done and sort of look at, okay, where is the need, where's the area of greatest need, whether that's fundamental digital literacy skills or something um, a little bit more involved than that. And then we wanna recruit um, three to five companies with short-term employment projects that these students can work on um, right away and sort of get them sort of on the job training. Quickly. Back to you here. So, at six months, what are we going to come to the table and say that we have done? We are going to have 12 trained students in two different locations, so half at Liberty and uh, half at Andrew's location. We're going to have a completely grant application based on what we've learned from that and the successes from the first six months. And we'll have completed short-term projects with at least three companies. So I think we've already identified two out of those three um, with clear goals that students could do in the short term. So that these students can take the training, get the badges in these particular types of applications, actually do work, they're paid for that, and completed that within six months. And that forms part of that, that grant application. We would like at that point also to recruit somebody that can identify types of jobs that are doable by people that have been certified by these badges. So there's crowdsourcing. There's other local companies that are working in technology and biology and that sort of thing. There are tons and tons of jobs out there these days that are identified for short-term projects that can be brought in and have people with those skill sets uh, actually do those projects. Um, and at the end of that six-month period, we'd like to have a proof of concept for the technology platform. 
what we need to get that done is mentors, so people that you know, people that we know, that can do the trainings. And once we identify a groundwork session, what exactly our first curriculum is, we'll be more specific about who those first mentors could be in terms of what they can bring to the table. Um, we already have identified community spaces, computers, I think you got 20 donated today. So we have sets of interested students, we're going to recruit from those interested students based upon the curriculum, feedback from them, what, what are the types of skills you want to learn, feedback from employers, what do you guys need, bring that together, and that curriculum will then also be turned back around and find which students are interested in that. The companies, um, anybody out there that thinks that they have types of projects that can be done um, with this sort of skill sets, then please contact us. And the technology platform itself. Skillshare does stuff like this already a little bit. The badging, I'm not so sure about. It's really paid, so we're not sure whether that's the, the best platform long term. And I, we think of open badges will be the best platform long term. And if anybody likes developers or open badges, that would be great. Um, the people that were involved in this are on the right there, so if you want to uh, contact any of us, we can talk about that. We also have, thanks to Sean, <laughs> Coming soon, I guess. <laughs> you have to wait for your DNS to propagate. <laughs> there it is. You can sign up your email address today. And we will be launching the platform from this website and continue to update your news of, of what's going on on this website. Um, if a question for the organizers, too. The, just if attendees had Twitter addresses, we could get an email list of people here, especially if you're willing to participate in the second project, we'd love to have that and we'd love to hear from you. So, how are the badges different from like, traditional sort of basic? So, you're, you're, um, and this is something that Andrew uh, and Digital Heart Foundation have already worked on with their EdTech fellows this summer the idea of a badge is that it doesn't have to be formal training. So, you know, there are lots of things. It, it's an alternative to that um, sort of mentality of like a four-year institution or a community college. It's short, quick um, workshops and trainings that you can take part in so that we would then have badges that were associated to <laughs> um, so, um, for example, something that we talked about today were like the fundamentals of, of digital literacy. So people aren't necessarily certifying that out there already. So it would be, oh, I, I know Microsoft Word, I know Microsoft Excel, and sort of a step-by-step -step program that you can walk through, or training that you can walk through, and you have a badge that sort of went along with that. There actually is one of our